So Sean T leading the group of four out in the middle of the track as they leave the half mile behind them to Mr. Monaco, Rabat and break the bank. Gandal of Dubai under the rail in the hands of Joe Fanning has got a slender lead there over Sun God. Involvement, the orange star on the cap for Sheen Murphy moving into it quite powerfully. Royal Power, one off the fence, is having to angle for a position further back then to Endless Victory and Travolta as the gallop unwinds. Running downhill now for the last quarter mile. Sun God in the yellow and blue has moved through. Royal power under the fence. Involvement in the dark blue and orange is bang there. Then Mr. Monaco on the right from Shanti. They climb now inside the last furlong. Sun God, Involvement, Royal Power, Mr. Monaco. These four fighting out the finish and it's Involvement in front coming home the stronger here. Involvement strikes over Royal Power with Mr. Monaco close up in third. Mountain Breeze in the all blue is chasing the leaders with Liberalized in a grey jacket and Fiery Lucy in the blue and white. TJ in a white jacket is down the middle of the course, chasing the leader Bountiful over there with Enchanting Empress in a violet jacket. And then back to Moorland, Mighty Aero in the Claret Silks is in rear as they move to halfway with Tales of the Heart in the pink and green. So it's the fast running Bountiful in the light blue to Heaven's Gate handy with Arabian Dust, Fiery Lucy in the blue and white going forward. Moorland, the striped cap, is also on the move under pressure. Then TJ Enchanting Empress, Mountain Breeze is ridden along, liberalized on the extreme left one from the left, Mighty Aero trying to close from the rear. Climbing now with a furlong and a half to go. Heaven's Gate moving through to Bountiful. Mountain Breeze in the all blue is in the clear. Arabian Dusk is bang there as well in the black and orange. Inside the last half furlong. Arabian Dusk. Mountain Breeze with a late flourish but it's going to be the Crisfords at the double as Arabian Dusk wins the Duchess of Cambridge from Mountain Breeze. And Fairbanks. Three of them covered by three parts of a length still just ahead of Vino, Victrix, Barkdor and Beamish. One for the gutter in the blue and orange yet to be popped the question with now the last half mile in sight uh, then Fox Journey the grey in the hands of Ryan Moore three quarters of the way back from Artisan Dancer in the beige and brown Tenerife Sunshine is being ridden along in rear from Knightswood and Tides of War in the pink and green is last of all and they move now down past the final three furlong Solent Gateway taken on joined by Fairbanks who's moved through very strongly here and now Fairbanks is committed by Sheen Murphy running downhill for the last quarter of a mile Powers over two lengths clear. One for the gutter in the blue and orange is giving chase. Then Solent Gateway from Bark Door. Knightswood is plugging on from the rear, but Fairbanks is clear. Climbing inside the last furlong, three lengths ahead. One for the gutter is staying on very doggedly, is inching closer. Knightswood and Bark Door also finishing off strongly in behind, but it's Fairbanks and Machine Murphy in front. Murphy takes the starring role. Fairbanks lands a gamble in the Bet365 trophy. Uh, then Jabara in a yellow jacket just ahead of magical sunset Serona last of the field and rogue millennium still isolated down the middle but only a couple lengths off the pace setting running line as they move down towards halfway in the group one Tattersall's Falmer so running line over Porta Fortuna a lilac roller up against the running rail Jabara just a couple lengths off the pace yellow jacket magical sunset in the lilac and Serona in the beige are handy and rogue millennium on the left is still right on terms as they pass the three. Beginning to run downhill at this point. Running line, one from the right being asked for more now by Murphy and Porta Fortuna has breezed on into the lead and running line capitulates very quickly. Rogue Millennium on the left still has every chance. Jabara Yellow Jacket is running a big race. They race out of the dip just outside the furlong. Porta Fortuna two lengths ahead of Jabara, a lilac roller. Rogue Millennium keeping on at the one pace. Porta Fortuna is clear with 100 yards to cover. It's going to be three group ones as Porta Fortuna wins the Tattersalls Falmouth. They're off. Seven furlongs, 1,400 metres ahead of them. Came away to a, a pretty good line. Grey field of gold down the centre is handy. So too Man Kilimanjaro in a dark blue jacket. Thunder roar on the extreme right. And almost two groups that they are fanning out much of the width of the track. Uh, towards the left, Shamal win the red and white on the sleeves, drifting towards the near side, followed by Royal Officer Blue with a white cap. And then sing us a song with a pink cap and must believe. And Mother Coombe in the left hand 
group in the raw blue is just about last of that group of five. Down the centre, Man Kilimanjaro, the dark blue is still handy with Thunder Roar on the right. Charming fellow one from the right. Then the grey field of gold, followed by White Crown Star in the blue and yellow. Stars in their eyes in the mauve and white, back to our terms in a cherry jacket. Badico is being ridden along Stripe Cap at the back of the field. They're running downhill now towards the last two and a half furlongs. Field of gold, the grey has come through quite strongly now. Moving through and taking over here from Thunder Roar and Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, then stars in their eyes. Extreme right, our terms is leaning left, but he's running on out of the dip. It's Field of Gold now ascending for the last furlong. He's gone three or four lengths clear of Mount Kilimanjaro. Our terms is still running on quite promisingly, but the bird has flown here, and Field of Gold is putting up a really smart performance to win convincingly. Stars in their eyes runs on into second, and pink cap of Brunel Nation. In behind those, Metabolt in the red and white, the free-going Ezra C in the cheek pieces, Zuzana, predominantly red silks, is held up in the left-hand group with a slow-starting Smoky Mountain and Tiger Crusade in the pink and green. They've moved through halfway, approaching the final three furlongs. Over on the right, validated in the grey eminency to Gisborne, final watch, yellow jacket being ridden along, and so too Sir Winston. Run Boy Run with a grey cap still leads the left-hand group as they run downhill for the final two. Then waiting all night, Brunel Nation with a pink cap. Metabolt under the rail is running on under pressure, followed through by Zuzana. Out of the dip they come, and it's validated down the centre. Chased by Run Boy Run. Eminency waiting all night. Few others landing a blow. Nothing getting anywhere near validated. Powering clear here under James Doyle, and validated has turned this into a rout over Run Boy Run, and it's very close for third. Behind Hedge Fund and a yellow jacket. On the right, Fantasy Master is showing good speed as well. They're already through the first furlong. It's Hedge Fund to Fantasy Master on Matey Star Isle of Lismore towards the left in a spotted jacket and then Spring Bloom in the yellow and grey. No half measures on the extreme right. Orange cap for Ryan Moore. Further back to above and then on the left, Ash Weir and one from the left. Good, good, good. They're fanned out as they run downhill inside the final two. Hedge Fund down the middle in the yellow. Isle of Lismore towards the left moving up to challenge. Now here goes no half measures on the right. On the extreme left, good, good, good is also picking up. No half measures inside the furlong under Ryan Moore. Nicely clear. They're playing for places in behind. Heavily back. No half measures. It's Festival Friday. Double for Ryan Moore.